You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. For the community, by the community. For the community, by the community. Hi, I'm Sarah Connor, and on tonight's show, we're bringing some style into Life in Style with Sarah. My guest this evening is Leslie Polgar. She's a professional stylist and she is going to give us some practical style tips as well as update my look. Leslie, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. So you came over to my house and you tried to give me a few tips and update my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. um, so talk a little bit about what it is that you do for your clients. So how do you help them with their style? Really, my company is all about taking what you already have because it's, it doesn't always have to be about high fashion and high cost. So I really just work with what you have, with your own wardrobe, your hair, your face, and just enhance it. So what we did was start with wardrobe at your house and just pull different various outfits. And then I just gave a few tips on different pieces that you could either incorporate by adding it or um, pulled from different areas of, of your accessories and, mm -hmm. and shoes and yeah. scarves and so it was, added it. It was fun because I, I'm probably one of those clients where I really, I get frustrated. I don't, I don't really enjoy trying to keep up with the current fashions. I want to look good. But I don't want to spend the time to look good. Sure. So it was, it was great having you come into my house because you really helped me go through, um, you know, kind of what I had and weed out the things that I've been holding on to for way too long. So we have a clip of Leslie at my house going through my wardrobe and giving me some good practical advice of what should stay and what should go. Take a look. So if these are some of the clothes that you commonly wear, what we want to do is, is go through them and see how we can mix and match them. When I invited Leslie over to go through my spring clothes, I told her to be brutally honest. I hate shopping and I knew there were some ancient and out of style pieces that had to go. This is perfect with anything that's skinny skinny jeans or leggings. This is okay, but I, I think a little too stuffy for you. A little too old for you but a little too out of season, out of fashion, out of everything. This is very cute. You could wear this with a pair of jeans. I don't think this will go out of style. I think that you could take any kind of fun jacket and spice it up a bit. I don't think it's the best color for you. Well, this is something that someone a little bit more mature would wear. You could wear this with a pair of skinny jeans, boots, heels. This would be fun date night. Cute outfit depending on where you're going. There's so many things to say, so we'll just talk. I, I would say wear it with black heels and maybe a cute little blazer with it to make it a little bit more now. And shoes? No. Maybe. Yes. No. 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 Yes. No. 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 Cute. Square toe, no. Cute. Pointy toe, yes. Okay, so lots landed in the no pile. But Leslie did manage to pull together some great and stylish outfits from the keep pile. It was funny because, because I'm not super into fashion, because I've been holding on to these pieces, as you get older you realize you have things in your closet that you've had for 20 years right. and you really should let them go. Mm -hmm. I mean, do things ever really come back into fashion? They do and they don't. They, they do, but they're always like a, a different variation of it. So maybe a different color um, and, and like I said, just a, a variation of it. Yeah. So. so some things you really should just... You can recycle it if you yeah. really love it and it looks great on you and yeah. it's a great fit. Hold on to it. And it's good to have outside advice on let it go. So we have outfit number one. 
and talk a little bit about why you selected these things. And these are all items that were from my closet, so none of this was purchased. Right. So this is a good weekend look. This is something that you're comfortable in. It has a nice fit to it. You can wear it with your girlfriends out for lunch. You can <laughs> shop around, pick up the kids. Um, it, it is a casual look, and it's something that's just very versatile. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's comfortable. And scarves are very much in now. They are. And I will say I've had this scarf, I think, truly from the early 90s. Wow. So some things you can hang on to. You can. Right? You can. Well, it's bright colors. Right. And so you always want to add a little bit of color when it comes to spring. Right. You know, freshen up your look. Mm -hmm. We're always in dark clothes, dark, thick clothes in the winter. Right. So brighten and freshen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you had given another tip. I'm in heeled boots right now. Um, but if I wanted to lighten this up a little bit, even more for spring, you talked about how you can you do jeans and flats. Flats, sandals, any variation of a slide, that way your new freshly manicured, manicured right. feet can show through and you can just okay. roll up the bottom of those jeans. Okay, so mm -hmm. you roll up the bottom of the jeans and you can put some flats on. Right, turn them into crops. Okay, mm -hmm. turn them into crops. Exactly. That's great. Okay, so stay tuned and we're gonna have look number two. We are back, and I am in outfit number two that Leslie picked out. So why don't you talk a little bit about this selection, Leslie? I love this look because it really shows off your figure. You have these gorgeous long legs, and these are nice fitted pants to show off your legs. And we paired it with a little bit of a, a pale pink to go with our spring theme of light and bright. And um, you always want to match something a little bit more flowy and, and fun mm -hmm. and bigger on top if you've got something that's nice and fitted on bottom. We added the heels to give mm -hmm. you even more height to show off the length of the legs once again. Okay. Now you're kind of, you're a fan of heels. I am. And now talk a little bit about why, why it is that you think heels are a good thing. Well, I think that... <laughs> Your whole demeanor changes when you're wearing heels. Mm -hmm. You have a little bit of pep in your step. Mm -hmm. You have more confidence. You're just more womanly. You're sexy and fun. Um, you can just always tell, you know, how you act based on what you're wearing. So mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I like heels is because it makes you feel yeah. all of those things. And I think that's true. Mm -hmm. I think that's true. I definitely don't wear them enough, I think, because I you sort of get in mom mode, and then you just... You kind of go to the comfortable versus what's right. really for you. Right. To well, make they're you certainly feel not good. comfortable. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> yes. So um, let's talk a little bit about one of the other things you did for me was my hair and makeup. Yes. Which I love. I had a stylist tonight for our taping. So talk a little bit about how your approach to makeup. I like things to look kind of natural. So yes. that's kind of what you did. Right. So talk a little bit about that, how you did it. Well, if you want to stay natural, one of the things that you should do is just find some colors within your own skin. So um, with your blush color and your lip color, you just literally use the blush that you normally blush. You pinch your cheeks mm -hmm. and you find your rosiness and you try to match that. That's the most okay. natural color. And you just do the same thing with lips. It's just a little bit more brighter or darker, okay. but the same hue. So whether you're a peach or whether you're a pink or whether you're a rose like you are, mm -hmm. um, that's how you find your natural coloring within your face. And then your eyes. Mm -hmm. Eyes are so fun because you can play with color quite a bit. You just really pick a color within your pupil mm -hmm. and you just enhance it. So you've got these gorgeous blue eyes and you've got a bit of yellow in them too. So I tried to pull out the brightness because it's spring. So we wanted to use a lot of golds to pull out the yellow which will brighten the blue. So I used a lot of gold and then I smoked them out um, with just some liner and, uh, and some darkness to make them look a little bit more defined. And then you also use the, the other thing which I kind of like is the bronzer. Yes. So just tell us a couple minutes about or a minute or two about bronzer. What, what is it that well, How is it that you did it and, and why? Sure. Well, one thing that you want to do is when you start with a fresh face, you really just want to make it all one monotone. So you, mm -hmm. you want to take it all away, take all of your color away, and then add it back in. So okay. add it where you want it. And bronzer just makes you look just a little sun-kissed. You don't want to put it all over because then you're going to look like you're a little bit darker here and a little bit lighter mm -hmm. here, and we never want that. You don't want the so grandma line. Never. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest no-no. So okay. you match your foundation to your neck, 
and then you put it all over and then you bronze, making your skin look sun-kissed, just right around here, okay. uh, right around your eye, a little bit on your nose, forehead, and chin. So okay. just where you're naturally sun-kissed. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, great. We have another outfit. I think we're going to go into the more dressy work mode, right? Great. So I'm going to grab that outfit and we will be right back. This is for more of a, a professional look. So this is something that you could wear to work. You look put together. Now you've got this teeny tiny waist hair, so we really wanted to show that off. So that's why we tucked it in and put it with a cinch belt, had your cardigan wide open to show uh, just, just a little bit more of a style. You could button it up if you wanted to be a little bit more professional. Um, but otherwise, you could leave it open. And you've got a gorgeous necklace on. That's my favorite necklace of yours. It's we Courtesy of my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you. One of your things that you do is uh, when you go into someone to help them with their style, you don't try and make them something you're not, they're not. You work with, right. with what their body type is. Talk a little bit about that. Like, How do you help them find their own personal style? Well, one thing I like to do is, is find out um, wh who inspires them. So I, I start asking them um, as far as what celebrity that they like and, and who they file. And you, you really want to pick someone um, who has the same body type as you. Mm -hmm. So if you like someone's style, it's, it's, you really don't have to reinvent the wheel here. I mean, mm -hmm. if you like someone's style, you can mimic it slightly. You don't want to copy. We don't want to be copycats here. But you can mimic it. And, and get away with it. Katie Holmes is perfect for you because she she has every 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 day you see her she's comfortable and she's cute and you can tell she's she goes from night to day very easily with her little daughter. She's Sorry. a mom. Yes. Yes. So I think I do think that you may had made a comment that you know when you were going through my wardrobe it you know a lot of my pieces were older and it's kind of like you know you get married you're professional you work you have children, you forget all about shopping, right. you're buying clothes for the kids, and then you have this big gap where you just kind of forget about taking care of yourself and, and enhancing your wardrobe. But Katie Holmes is someone who, she has a style that you can be stylish and still be a mom and be comfortable right. and, you know, so she might be someone good for, you know, me or someone else to, to model after an everyday person mm -hmm. she's not so high fashion so if you're right. if you just want to you know have like a nice simple wardrobe you don't really want to be flashy or stand out right. at all what you really want to do is look comfortable comfortable confident and put together right and and all, not all high fashion fits all body types correct so definitely <laughs> you don't want to force fashion to your if it doesn't fit your body type. Right. And right. one tip I always give, too, mm -hmm. is you, you really should pick a part of yourself that you love. You know, whether it's your hair or your legs or your waist, mm -hmm. you've got a lot to choose from. And just enhance it. Right. So if you love your cute little waist, maybe wear, wear things that are a little bit more fitted so you show a little bit more of a silhouette. If you have these long, gorgeous legs, mm -hmm. show them off a little bit mm -hmm. um, with some skirts and some fitted pants. So that's what I try. You just, you just want to really pull out your best features right. in style. And your and business is about. you enhanced. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you're not trying to make you into something else. You're trying to make work with your best assets and enhance them. Right. It's not about wearing a costume. It's right. literally about something that you are already comfortable in, just enhanced. Yeah. Great. So um, one more outfit. Very exciting. Okay. This outfit, um, I feel like this is pretty versatile. Like it's right now yeah. it, it could be work. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, I have a sleeveless, so could be play. Could be play. <laughs> <laughs> so talk a little bit about what I'm wearing. Well, this is your professional look. I mean, really, a nice pencil skirt is a good staple that you can have for work. And you can always match it with a cardigan or a blazer and have any fun shell underneath. And a shell is any shirt that has any kind of movement. It's loose. It's not tight. It's something that just adds a little flow and professionalism to a fitted outfit. So uh, like I said about the staple, your pencil skirt is a good staple. And the pants that you were wearing before, I forgot to mention, um, you know, they're in style because they're called bossy pants, which are it's just any variation of like the male trouser on a woman. And okay. uh, it had a little flow to it. So you do want to pair it with something fitted. Now, this pencil skirt has, is a fitted look. So mm -hmm. you just want to pair it with something a little bit flowier on top. 
because if you wear something that's tight on top and tight on the bottom, it's not professional. So you just want to mix and match those. Interesting. Fitted so it and says flowy. too tight. Too tight all over is, is not appropriate for work. I wouldn't say so. Yeah. It's just, it's just okay. not professional. Okay. So another example would be with this skirt is we could do a blouse. Any blouse. And you can tuck it in. Tuck, tuck to it, make right. it, So you would tuck it. Tuck it in to make it look a little bit more professional. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to look slappy. You want to mm -hmm. look nice and put together with a nice clean cut and okay. pair it with some big fun earrings. That's okay. what I would do. And then you had, um, when we were talking earlier, now this is a long sleeve. It's a lightweight. Mm -hmm. But could you wear this? For many seasons, or is this just? Oh, definitely. Spring and summer, you just roll it up to three quarter okay. length, and it turns into a cute little okay. spring. And it's okay if you have a, a thin pencil skirt and it blouses a little bit. Definitely, That's you okay. want it to blouse a little bit. You Remember, do. Okay. when you're fitted below, you want it blousey and blouse. flowy on top. Okay, mm -hmm. great, 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 great. So let's talk a little bit about what's in. I mean, now I know your your business isn't necessarily trying to convert everyone to being high fashion the absolute height of fashion. Right. Um, right. It's more to be realistic, but there are some trends. So what are some Definitely. of the trends that are going on now for spring and? Bright colors right now, okay. safari look right now is in. Blocked colors, so if you. So what do you mean by blocked colors? If I had a dress like this and then it had a big block, a square of a bright color. Oh, A square okay. hair, a square hair. Um, okay. Just to make it a little bit. I have seen that, in. Yes. I have. I have a couple of style magazines, and there is a section in one of these where it has those blocked mm -hmm. and shoes. There are shoes too that have, right. you know, like one strap will be tan, and one part will be brown, and one part will be another color. So that's the block. Mix it up a little mix bit. Mix it up. Look. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Definitely. And um, crochet, lacy look. They're cute little lacy shorts right now that are in style. If you've got the legs, definitely rock them because okay. they are adorable. They're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about heels. Okay. Because we, we mentioned it earlier, and I you know, have tended to sort of shy away from heels for various reasons, although these are incredibly comfortable, the ones I have on right now. But if you go into the stores, it is crazy, it is crazy. how high heels are. I know. So heels are in. Right. Crazy high is kind of in. Right. What if you just simply can't do that? I mean, what, do you have to... I mean, is there somewhere in between that's acceptable but not crazy? There's just no rule in style. I mean, okay. everybody says that there is, but really it's, it's what fits you. It's what you're comfortable in. What you don't want to do is wear something that's too high and you can't walk in because no matter how gorgeous you look, if you fall down, it will not be a pretty sight. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. So keep it simple and keep it comfortable. At the same time, you can wear a high heel and be comfortable at the same time. You just don't want to wear it all day long. So okay. you really need heels that are going to last a certain amount of time. So I have heels that'll last two hours and I have heels that'll last eight hours. Okay. And the two hour heels, really, I can wear them to dinner and I'm psyched about them and most of the time I'm sitting. I'm not walking, but they're my favorite. <laughs> right. So I just keep a pair of flats in my pocketbook okay. and um, walk if I'm you know, walking. I live very close to downtown. Mm -hmm. so. If I walk downtown, I walk in my flats, and then I throw my heels on before I get around okay. the corner. So that's kind of Stick a, a little trick back. where you can mm -hmm. have the heels but not hurt your feet walking right, somewhere for right. a distance. Okay. Now, what about accessories? What is in for accessories, or what kind of is? You have some nice big hoopy earrings. Is that? <laughs> I like anything that's loud. I mean, it's really something that you really have to be comfortable with jewelry. I mean, mm -hmm. chunky, fun jewelry is is in, but uh, mm -hmm. it's. It's definitely something that, as long as you're comfortable with it, uh, men's watches. Um, Watch faces for men mm -hmm. are quite big. Definitely. So kind of, is bigger kind of the it is. big, big, chunky? Big, chunky jewelry. Uh -huh. um, lots of layering with necklaces is in. Remember the whole safari look, so you've got a lot of, like, the, right. the woods and that you can add and, and stagger them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, so you have a, a business where you're, you do these personal consultations. You can go into someone's house and right. either go through their wardrobe or what other services do you provide beyond what you well, did for me, which is <laughs> weed out the 80s and the 90s. <laughs> What other things do you do? Um, one of the things I focus on are people going out on dates and going out on interviews. You really want to make that first impression. Mm -hmm. So 
what I, what I do is I come to your house and we pick out an outfit together from your closet, you know, and we, we do hair and makeup right there. I bring mm -hmm. my train case with all different colors and shades and make you look your best. Okay. So for whatever event or, or for whatever special event. occasion, mm -hmm. that you, and you work with what people have. Do exactly. you ever do personal shopping with people? Go with people I shopping? I do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quite and how can they? How can people contact you? What's the best way to contact you? Youenhance.net is my website. Okay. And you can always email me as well. And, and through your website. Dot. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you enhanced. You enhanced. Dot. It's you just enhanced. <laughs> dot net, uh, or you could email me, of course, Leslie. Dot youenhanced at gmail dot com. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. My for, pleasure. And thank, thank you for, I, do you like, I, so here's my new look, one of my new looks. Woohoo! <laughs> Before we go, stay tuned for some bonus fashion tips from Leslie. Pencil skirts are so cute. They're for everything. You could wear them out on a date. You could wear them to work. You could pair it with a blouse and just tuck it in with a flowy blouse that's silky, satiny, or you could um, just with a cotton fitted one and tuck it in with black heels, black high, high heels. If you're going to give a bit of a contrast in clothes, what you want to do is take something very simple and bland and dress it up. Dress it up with fun earrings, dress it up with fun jewelry, um, with fun flowy skirts, that kind of thing. Now, the thing about capris is they're very cute. If you're long and lean and tall, then they look fantastic on you with heels. You look great, you look gorgeous, you look thin. When that's not the case, it shortens you and it makes you look pear-shaped. No matter how you slice it, you look pear-shaped. So if you put it with sneakers or flats, then you're going to make your calves look bigger, you're going to make your thighs look bigger, you're going to make your, your bottom look bigger than it is. If you put flats with it, you will notice that your calves look bigger just because you're shortening everything. You're, what you're doing is literally drawing attention to the skin that sticks out, which is are, are your calves. So it depends on how they lay, but if you wear them with flat, all people are seeing are your ankles and your calves. If you're not wearing heels, heels elongates your calf. It makes this muscle in the back of your leg pop, and it makes it look gorgeous. But if you wear it with flats, that's not the case. They look short and plumpy. So that's what we want to avoid. Frumpy, frumpy legs. So capris are cute when you have heels. So jean shirts, jean skirts, jean jackets, very cute if you've got everything else around it in style. Otherwise, you're going to look out of style and to 1990. But you could make it work, it's just a little bit trickier. If you wear a fun, vibrant necklace that is, is a little bit loud and chunky, you want to wear simple earrings and vice versa. If you wear big earrings, you want to wear something or nothing on your neck. You don't want too much because then it draws too much attention. Like, where, what's, what's going on here? There's too much going on. Cinch belts are right now, that's what's in. Cinch belts just take anything that you're wearing and cinch it in, in the waist. So it makes you look like you have an hourglass figure. So you could do that with any belt. Um, the, the thinner the belt width wise is what's going to cinch it even more. The bigger the belt, the bigger it's going to make you look waist, your waist look. Scarfs are fun because you can take a simple t-shirt with a pair of jeans or a simple fitted sweatshirt, throw a scarf on it and look hip and in style and cute all the way around. It's just fun a little bit of a little bit of color. So if you've got something that's a little bland in your wardrobe, you can always spice it with color and just throw a scarf around it. You can tie scarves in several different ways. Um, but one way is if you if you put it around your neck and you bring one loop in and one loop around and it makes this area a little bit more fluffy. If you're going to wear a scarf, you want to avoid anything big and ruffly around it because you've got a big ruffly around your neck so you don't want to look like you've got so much fabric and no body in there. They're like jeggings. There's a lot of controversy about these things. But they're cute. They just have to be worn well. High heels, high boots, fun sweaters. Don't draw attention to these pants. Draw attention to what's around them. That's the purpose of them. The purpose of skinny jeans or skinny pants is to show that you are skinny, long, lean, and you want to draw attention maybe to your boots, you want to draw attention maybe to your sweater or to something flowy on top, 
but that's that's the direction of anything skinny. Okay, so these have a bit of a stone wash to them, very out, very old, but fun weekend wear. So, so if I was bumming around the house, or if I had to go to a basketball game, if I had to do something with my kids, it would be cute to wear them and actually fold down the top and wear it with a fitted t-shirt. And then that way you you know, and they're boyfriend jeans, so you know that they're they're not for you. But maybe you just had a great night and you decided to throw on his jeans and go around for the weekend. So they're fun and comfortable, so I would keep them. And that's it. You've been watching Life and Style with Sarah. I'm Sarah Connor, and don't forget to tune in next month for a brand new episode. My guest is Leslie Polgar. She's a professional stylist and she is. Let me start again. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Sarah Connor, and on tonight's show. I'm Sarah Connor. Don't forget to tune in next month to a brand new episode. You're going to tell me to do that again, right? <laughs>